Sky, and of course, we need it to sustain life, but how can you be sure that your drinking water is safe? Many of us don't know the difference between tap water and the water we buy at the store. Except that it costs more. Sure. <laughs> well, finding out the answer easier than you might think. Dan Theobald is a water expert, more than 20 years of experience analyzing water quality. He's here to test our region's tap water. Good morning, Dan. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Okay, so how do you test drinking water and what are you testing it for? You're testing for dissolved solids, which includes bacteria. Mm -hmm. You do it with a total dissolved, dissolved solids meter. Okay. And you're measuring it in increments of millions. And the EPA guideline says you got to have under 500 parts per million mm -hmm. to be safe. What are dissolved solids though? Is that like fluoride includes and all that sort of? Includes bacteria. Just bacteria, not fluoride or heavy metals or that kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so all just bacteria. All right, so we're starting off with Brooklyn. Right. So uh, this this uh, this device will read in uh, increments of millions. Could can, anybody buy that, something like this? Yeah, you can buy it easily online. Uh, just look up total dissolved solids. So meter. you can okay. test your own water. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. So you can put the put the meter in here, and you'll see the answer real quickly. Can someone read the number? Uh, it says 250. Okay, so that's less than 500, so that's safe for drinking. Okay, okay. That's our Brooklyn, producer, that's Allison's our producer. Uh, okay. This is my tap water here. Uh, okay. Okay, so what so does this say for Manhattan one. here? Um, says, uh... 157. Okay. So even better. But this is just bacteria. Is there somewhere it has somehow you could test well, for this, fluoride and heavy metals well, this, and all that? This will, take all of, this will take all of the contamination stuff. So all this will it. include okay. it all. all right. Now, Jersey. these devices are plus or minus 5%. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at a 500, we can be between 525 and, and 475 and still be safe. Okay. So let's see how new, everyone jokes about New, new Jersey. Jersey's water. Watch them have the best water. So that number, oh, 489. Oh. Maybe the jokes so are true. Borderline. Oh, borderline. borderline. Producer, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, that, now, that explains a lot about Shamine. Okay, now, <laughs> distilled, you had spring water, uh, like pure water and distilled water. What are the differences? Well, the spring water comes from spring sources. Uh, the pure water is an industrial process where you actually use uh, pressures to remove the solids, and distilled water is a boiling process. Okay, so we're going to test these to we're see test which is better. Okay, so exactly. we're going to start you off with spring water here. Right, so this right. is really uh, kind of the all-natural stuff. Oh, 49. Okay, exactly, so cool. exactly. See? I know that some bottled waters actually take mm -hmm. it out of springs, too. Too. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so the pure water here, I'll give you a number 29. Yeah. And I would guess the distilled would be the best, right? Because it's heating all the stuff out. So let's see. Well, let's find out. Let's find <laughs> out. Good science experiment. Okay. Oh, it's just one. That's it. There you <laughs> go. That's pretty cool. Dan Theobald, thank you so much. This is really, really fascinating stuff. It. We thank really you very appreciate much. it. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. Appreciate now, it.